Hey y'all, it's Wild Riley back at it. Um, taking some uh, ferments and starting to bottle them. So I'm going to kind of walk you through my little process here. So this is the final product. <clears throat> it's going to need a little time to age. This is wild berry cherry wine. So a blend of different wild berries like blackberry, raspberry, pomegranate, um, things like that. And then also added a a whole bunch of cherries to the mix. So it's pretty tasty, pretty strong uh, homemade homebrew wine. Here's all the excess. So uh, when I'm transferring wine from the carboy to a smaller carboy to rack it, to rack the uh, sediment away, I'm going to a smaller uh, carboy. So the extra goes here. Well, this is what I sip on. So I, I enjoy the wine from these little one-gallon jugs. And this is a 17-gallon um, feed bin. I have one here and one there. And that's what I'm using to uh, do the primary ferment. So it goes from primary ferment. Um, and then I'm doing a, a stagger. So that one is next up to rack over. This one is just getting started. Um, it's about a week in. This one's about two weeks in. Okay. So then from there, we're doing this number here. So it's a six gallon glass carboy. I'm racking it, so I'm taking away the sediment into this one, which is a five gallon carboy. And you can see I have my extra gallon here is a uh, overflow and then that's going to be what I get to sip on as they age and from this five gallon carboy it goes into bottles which we were just looking at right there so that's kind of the process so next in line is right here. This is mead. Um, so as the carboys come available, these bottles of mead, these carboys will kind of scoot forward. So once I'm done racking the last six gallon one, then this one will be the next one to rack. And then these two bottles of mead will scoot over to this place. And then these empty carboys will get racked off of that and be uh, filled up from that one. And then they'll move over to here. So it's just like a constant cycle. And as we produce more and more, um, we'll have to keep racking it. <clears throat> but every vessel <clears throat> is constantly being used. You can see here, it's nice, clear. This one is elderberry wine. We got mead, elderberry, elderberry wine, wildberry cherry. I do sake. So there's a bunch of different types of wine that I like to make. And um, yeah, we just keep the rotation going, keep the uh, carboys working. It's like alchemy. So you're putting the ingredients together, you're starting a chain reaction. And then you're um, kind of guiding it through, kind of like a shepherd. And eventually, you end up with uh, lots of tasty, good wine. And so, I drink a lot of elderberry wine. You know, a glass or two in the evening. And it's really been helpful to keep me from getting sick lately. Also, you can reuse wine bottles. So this one. Um was on sale. It was like $5.99. And um, you can't even really buy the one gallon uh, jugs like this. One gallon carboys. For that cheap, usually they're 10 bucks a piece. Maybe a little bit less if, they're, if the actual empty ones are on sale. But this one, I was able to get the wine. All you gotta do is drink the wine and then now you uh, peel the labels off and you have yourself a nice um, jug that you can keep reusing over and over. 
and then you'll plug it once you put transfer the wine into it you'll plug it with something like this which is the airlock the plug I think it's number six maybe six and a half it fits right in there and it'll uh, allow the CO2 to escape without allowing oxygen in and so as I rack these things I kind of clean it up that's for the bigger carboy the five or six gallon one I'll clean all this up and reapply it um, back onto the carboy as it's time. So, anyway, um, I just thought I'd share this project on my days off. I spend, you know, a good part of the day working with this process here. Um, kind of setting the chain reaction into motion, and then maybe one day it'll be a uh, little enterprise. Maybe we'll uh, trade bottles of wine for something interesting you know maybe it's produce maybe it's livestock maybe it's um pure metal coinage who knows but in the meantime it's just a lot of fun to uh, experiment with and kind of learn from so i hope you found this interesting if you do like and subscribe share and uh hope to see you on the next video thanks thanks for watching talk to you later